Hey what's up, this is Anthony with AGT Exotics and today we're going to feed a bunch of teas. We've got lots of teas lined up, so let's get to it. Alright, so first off we're going to try to feed our Afonatama Simani Blue Form. So we're going to be using mealworms today for all of our smaller under 2 inch teas. You can feed them multiples as long as they feel they can handle the first one you give them. I need to do one more because they can. I fed up to 10 to 1 tea before. It was a larger tea that um, I didn't have any big food for it, so I just kept giving it mealworms until it couldn't manage them. All three of these. Wow. Amazing little guy. Oh, let's move on to another one. All right, this is our second Afonatama Simani Blue. Let's see if it is hungry. Um, I'm not sure if this one still needs to molt or it did molt. I think it did molt and it's just a little bit smaller than the other one still. No, this one hasn't molted yet since I've received it. Oh, there we go. I think we're just going to give this one the one. Right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so I'm going to attempt to tong feed this Grandma Stola poker piece. Oh, it bit it and then let go. That was odd. But then again, it's going to pick up the food needed. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> this is my bigger of my little ones, so I'll be able to feed it two or three of these mealworms for sure. I don't think I noticed this is the second one yet. 
or it's just not interested. All right, so we're gonna take that second one out. All right, so here's one of my Terranoculus Miranus TT locations. It's a real little guy. I'll have to lure it a bit here. They're super fast, so it won't be much to see when it happens. But it's still worth it seeing it. Oh, that was so fast. <coughs> Here is another Terranoculus Miranus TT. We tried to film this one already, but we had some tough technical difficulties with our camera. I was getting an error in my card and it wasn't letting me record. So we'll give it another try. Oh, here it comes. It's going to be just a flash, just like the other one was, but... Mealworms seem to like to stay still once they hit webbing. It's either they full freak out and they start wrapping themselves up or they stay still for a while. There we go. Now we're starting to move. creeping out on it slow. <laughs> Bam! That was awesome. Hear the tea ripping through the the web. Alright. Here's an idea thoroughly Mira female. Um, she molted a couple of weeks ago so we're just waiting to fatten her up here and harden off before we breed, them with, breed her with the female. <laughs> breed her with the male. Oh my gosh. Alright. That was a good one. And we're gonna drop another one in there. She's a pretty big T now. I need to get her rehoused into a larger enclosure or adult enclosure. There's 
There we go. Better too. See those beautiful blue feet. kind of coming out the hole a bit. Interesting. She's uh, made a really wide opening and no longer has a trap door. So we're really wanting to get her into a larger enclosure soon. Wow, look what she's doing. She's coming out. Alright, let's move on to a new species. Alright, this is my Pteranoculus cordatus mastov. Um, they're extremely fast and really small, so I may only take off the top, the lid there, just to show you them after they already have a food source. So, let's see here. They're just so sketchy and so small. I think we're okay, actually. It's hunting. Let's see if we can turn this around without losing the little guy. They're really small, they're still like a quarter inch. Okay, let's get that lid back on. They're just so small and so fast and they seem to always want to dart for the top of the enclosure. All right, so this one molted a little while ago. sketchy with these guys. I can't wait for them to get bigger. So there won't be such a, a flighty little tea. Alright, so we gotta get a relatively small food for them. Or we can give one that's a little bit slightly too big. And we'll get a millworm rodeo going on. Let's try for that. Again, I'm gonna be kind of cautious until it, it sees it or, there we go. I was hoping to get a proper mealworm rodeo going on, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. such a small T it's really hard for this camera to pick it up if I get any um, more zoomed in it will get blurry for you guys so unfortunate this guy's really small really cool colorations already it's got that standard uh, Pteranoculus Mirinus style uh, or Pteranoculus 
uh, patterning on the abdomen. Alright, we're not going to chance it too much. These guys are a quick... Alright, those are the beautiful feet of the Incio Cretella Alavesia. Let's see if we can get it to come out. We're still not sure if this is a male or a female. quite shy after this last molt. Hmm. I really wanted to lure it out a lot more before I tried to give it anything. Oh jeez. Well, this tea's a lot faster than it used to be after this last molt. <laughs> jeez. <laughs> try to feed it again. Hopefully it will move slower. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. My heart's gone. Well, I guess it's not hungry. Technically, it should be, but it's been 12 days since I last fed it, and I'm pretty sure it was just a bunch of mealworms. All right, well, we'll move on to something else. Here's my male Dolcetelli diamantinensis. Another fun one to say. Um, seeing it's a male and it's it's already done its last molt. I'm not worried if it eats it or not because it's not going to be, the tea is not going to be in a vulnerable state anymore. And if it is at this point, it's probably dying. So uh, we're okay to put some food in there and not manage it, not monitor it, kind of thing. So I dropped a couple millworms into the opening there. And what I'm referring to is like the molt stage. You leave some millworms in there with a, a molting tea and they will eat it. And this guy still is eating for us. Just kind of far and few between. Here, probably at least one of them. They're fairly vicious for a new world tea. They really try to bite you when you disturb them. <laughs> at least with my experience with the ones that I have. This will be good if he eats these because he has not eaten in 74 days. Which um, I didn't really notice until right now looking at the tarantula app. Well, I'm really grab glad that he grabbed those. And uh, this is a moist species. So we're going to spray and fill its water dish up.
get the soil a little damp there and fill up the water dish. That one's good to go. Let's grab the female. 